Hello and welcome, I'm your host, Mr. Buss, and I'm going to walk you through how to do Lab 16, Wind Power. In this lab, you're going to use a wind turbine, which is really just a 1.5 volt DC motor. If you hook this motor up to a battery, it would turn the prop, but we're going to do something different. We're actually going to use a three-speed fan, and we're going to attach a prop to the motor, and the fan is going to turn the prop, and that will, in turn, generate electricity. You're going to compare two different prop styles, run each of the prop styles on three different speeds of the fan, and calculate power in watts. All right, here's the lab equipment you're going to need for this. You're going to need a lab quest, a current meter, and a voltage meter. You're going to need um, two wires, one with an alligator clip on each end, and one with an alligator clip on one end, and a bare wire or a banana plug on the other. You'll need a 1.5 volt DC motor, clamps, some masking tape, three speed fan, two five centimeter pieces of straw, scissors, hole punch, and you will need a cutout for the prop designs. It takes a little while to cut out the props, so I recommend one person in the group get started on this right away. Let's start with the square pinwheel design first. So, first, cut out the square prop. Cut out the inside pieces, use a hole punch, take your 5 centimeter piece of straw, take a small piece of masking tape and attach it to one of the ends, cut off any extra. So here you go, you have to attach this prop to that straw. So here's what it looks like so far. Here's a closer look and a side view. Take another piece of masking tape and wrap it around the other end of the straw. Alright, so this is a pretty important step. Make sure that the prop now is snug at both ends on the masking tape on the straw. Obtain a DC motor and make sure that there's some masking tape on the end of it. Attach the prop to the DC motor, which is going to be your wind turbine. Here's another look at the setup. Go ahead and attach your wind turbine to clamps. Please be very careful not to over tighten the clamp. If you do that, it's probably not going to spin very well. It'll actually crush the DC motor and it's just not going to work for you. So I'm going to walk through the wiring setup now. Take your alligator clip and bare wire or banana plug wire. Attach the alligator clip to the red wire coming out of the DC motor. Attach the bare wire or the banana plug to the current meter. Obtain a 1 ohm resistor. Attach the resistor to the other end of the current meter. Obtain the wire with the alligator clip on each end. Attach one end of the alligator clip to the resistor. And attach the other end to the black wire coming out of the DC motor, thus completing the circuit. Obtain your voltage probe wires. And attach the voltage probe to either end of the resistor. Plug in your current probe and voltage or potential into the LabQuest device. Go ahead and zero the current probe and zero the voltage probe. Okay, looks pretty good. Both numbers are very close to zero. They're going to fluctuate a little bit, but they're very close to zero. Now, with the fan on low, make sure that your prop turns. This prop needs to be able to turn on the low, medium, and high setting, so make sure that it, it turns on low. And while it's running, if the numbers are negative, we need to switch some wires.
if current is negative, switch the wires coming out of the wind turbine or the DC motor. If just voltage or potential is negative, go ahead and switch the wires for the voltage meter. Now when the fan is running on a low speed, this is very similar to what you should be reading now. Go ahead and record these numbers in your data table. Go ahead and turn the fan from low to medium, and then from medium to high, recording your numbers each time. Once you've run the experiment for the pinwheel prop, Let's go ahead and cut out the other prop. So cut along the solid lines. Go ahead and use a hole punch. Fold along the dotted lines. And then unfold them just a little bit. Take two small pieces of tape and attach them to the prop. Go ahead and do the same on the other side. Take another small piece of straw and a piece of tape. Wrap the tape on the end of the straw. Go ahead and put the prop on the straw where the tape is. Here's another view of the prop. Remove the pinwheel prop from the wind turbine or the DC motor. Attach the other prop. With the fan on low, try to get the prop to turn. This prop is a lot harder to get to turn, so you might need to kickstart it a few times, but in the end you should be able to get it to run on low speed. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. Um, I won't dock points. Just make sure that you can get it to run at least on medium and high speed then. Here's the setup running again. Make sure to run your fan on low, medium, and then high speed, recording your data every time for the current and potential. And then that's it. Make sure you put everything away and you've just completed the 16th and final Earth Science Lab that I've got for you this trimester.